Day five. Today we're going to have a look at um, number sequences and we're going to think a little bit about how we can actually work out scales on number lines because this is a problem that I think comes up quite a lot. And there's several approaches to this. Uh, there's the try and error approach where you just test, okay, well, look, I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten gaps in between 100 and 200. So I could try different numbers. I could try one, each step being one. Now, obviously, it doesn't work. I could try two, five, ten, et cetera. I can just sort of try numbers until I get ahead to the correct answer. That's uh, an approach that can work, but it's not necessarily very efficient. And it can be harder with slightly more complex number lines that I will look at in, in a moment. So there's a little bit of a trick here, which is to say, well, what's the gap between these two numbers that I do know? So I can see here there's a difference, a gap of 100. 100 to 200, or is 100, I need to add 100 to get to 200. And then how many gaps are there in between 100 and 200? Well, there's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. And because the gaps are equal, I could do 100 divided by 10 to get me the value of each of these gaps. 100 divided by 10 is 10. So that means that each of these gaps is worth 10. 110, 120, 130, 140, 150, 160. So that means that this one here must be 170. So again, you're going to have a go at this now. Pause the video once I've finished talking and then have a go. I'm just going to help you a little bit with this first one. So we can see again, 6,000 to 7,000. Well, what's the difference here? I can see it's 1,000. And then what am I going to divide by? Well, I've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 equal parts here on this number line. So I can divide by 10, divide the value of one part, which is what? So now you're going to finish this off. What does this mean the value of each part is? And then what is the value of the arrow? So pause the video, come back once you're done. Okay, so 1,000 divided by 10 is 100. So each of these parts is worth 100. So 6,100, 6,200, 6,300. So that means that this mark here must be 6,400. Let's look at some more examples. Now, it tends to be that people find number lines trickier when there aren't 10 parts. We're quite used to seeing 10 parts on a number line because we, if you go right back to um, reception and year one, we first encounter number lines really when we're learning to count from zero to 10. So what happens here? Well, again, same principle, 20 to 30, I need to add 10. So the difference is 10. How many equal parts are there? Well, there's one, two, three, four, Five. So if I divide 10 by 5, I get 2. So each part is worth 2. So I'm counting in 2s. 22, 24, 26, 28, 30. So then I can see really clearly that the arrow is pointing at the number 24. So again, same principle here. First step is to work out what's the difference between 30 and 120. Then how many parts are there? So what am I dividing by? What is each step then? So what is the value of the arrow? So pause the video now, have a go, and come back once you're done. So again, slightly trickier one this time. Well, to get to 30, to, from 30 to 120, I need to add 90. 120 subtract 30 is 90. I've got one, two, three equal parts here. One, two, three equal parts. 90 divided by 3, well, 9 divided by 3 is 3, so 90 divided by 3 will be 30. So each time I'm adding 30, so I've got 30, 60, 90, 120. So, oh yes, this blue arrow is worth 90, represents the number 90. What about here? Same principle again. What's my difference? Well, 100 to 200, difference is 100. I've got one, two, three, four parts, 100 divided by four, that's a number of fact I just need to know is 25. So I'm adding 25 each time, 150. So this blue arrow is pointing at the number 175. So your turn, I've got a difference here of what? What am I dividing by? How many equal parts are there? And then what is the value of this arrow? Pause the video now, come back when you're done. 
So again, we can see 100 to 200, the difference is 100. I've got one, two, three, four, five equal parts. 100 divided by five is 20. So I'm counting in 20s, 140. So this blue arrow is pointing at the number 160. So have a go now at the independent task. Remember the steps to success here. Work out what's the gap between the two numbers that I know on the number line. Put that here then divide by the number of parts in between those two numbers, and then you can work out what each step is worth on the number line and what the arrow is pointing to.